Chameleons and Chromatophores. Hello there. So you've probably heard of chameleons, and if you haven't heard of them, they look like this. Chameleons are reptiles, so that means they're related to turtles, alligators and crocodiles, snakes, and lizards. More specifically, they're a specialized clade of lizards. Now I could go deep into their genera, but that's not really what I'm here to talk about. Chameleons are mostly known for their ability to change the color of their skin. Scientists originally thought that this was just a form of camouflage, but it's actually not. They use this to regulate body temperature, to communicate with other chameleons for many different reasons, or to just show their current mood. The reason for this are specialized cells called chromatophores. In these cells are little sacs of pigments in their cytoplasm that can expand and contract to show the color. There are three layers of chromatophores under the chameleon's transparent skin. Each control a certain color. In the first layer are chromatophores called xanthophores and erythrophores. Xanthophores are responsible for yellow pigments and erythrophores are responsible for red and orange. So if this chameleon shown here opened up its erythrophores, it would turn a more red color. If it opened up its xanthophores along with it, it would turn a more orangey and yellowy color. In the second layer are erythrophores, which are responsible for purple, blue, and metallic -y colors. They contain little sacs which are filled with little tiny crystals. And when these little tiny crystals reflect and scatter light, they create blues and violets and metallic -y grays. So if this chameleon here opened up its erythrophores and then its erythrophores, it would go from a red to a violet to a blue. In the third and final layer are melanophores. Melanophores are responsible for creating shades and tints of colors. Melanophores contain little black packets called melanin. These play a big role in the color changing. Melanophores are star-shaped, so when the melanin is bunched together, it creates a pale color, but when it's expanded, it's a dark color. So if this chameleon here opened up its erythrophores to create a blue color, then close together its melanin, it would be a lighter shade of blue. When these three cells combine together, they create a wonderful rainbow of shades and tints of colors, and it's really, truly fascinating. Color change is a very helpful ability. Chameleons and other animals who have this ability usually don't generate their own body heat. So this is when chromatophores come into play. So if it's at night and it's kind of cold and the chameleon's sleeping, it can spread melanin through its melanophores and turn black to get nice and warm. I wish humans had chromatophores. We would be so awesome looking and we wouldn't need ACs or heaters. It'd just be cool. Color change is also used for communication. So if there's a predator nearby, say a puma, and a chameleon's just kind of hanging around in a tree, and they catch a glimpse of each other, like so, a chameleon may change a bright color as to warn other chameleons. It's also used for mating. So if a chameleon sees another attractive chameleon, they may turn a brighter, more attractive color as a way to say hey. Overall, chameleons are really beautiful and fascinating creatures, and although it's kind of confusing how they work sometimes, I think they're an example of nature's beauty. And here we go into a chameleon's mouth. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, this song playing was Karma Chameleon by Culture Club. Bye!